Now this is a story all about how my day got flipped, turned upside down. I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, tell me how I came and really pissed off Goff. Give me the dust of my father. Stand on the face of the ancient. So, half past twelve today, lunchtime, I called the RAC, told them exactly what was wrong with my van, told them that they, they, I needed a recovery, I needed a recovery truck. They sent a van, not a recovery truck. Took almost two hours for that van to arrive. When he arrived, it took him longer to park up uh, than it did to uh, come over and say, oh yeah, you need a recovery truck, I said. I know I need a recovery truck. I told them that on the phone that I need a recovery truck. I don't need no point in coming for a van. You can't fix it aside the road. I told them that. I told them what's wrong with it. So he went, buggered off. Two hours later, a recovery truck's driving up and down the street, ignoring me. I'm waving at it. Everybody else who's there is waving at it. It's just driving backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Then it disappeared. Uh, then I had to phone up to find out where he was, and he was just fucking parked up somewhere eating a sandwich or scratching his ball sack or something. I don't know. Finally found us uh, then couldn't get the van on the recovery truck claimed that uh, the van was over three and a half ton uh, when it's not it was his incompetence the van was bouncing around at the back of this recovery truck he was just pressing all the buttons not watching what he was doing he was just pressing them all because he didn't know what he was doing it was like um, well it was just like something stupid um, the RAC said that I can't get in the recovery wagon due to COVID-19 and social distancing, so they had to call me a separate taxi to pick me up from Scunthorpe to drive me back to Sheffield. I was closer to the driver and the taxi driver, to, closer to the taxi driver than I would have been in the recovery wagon because the recovery wagon was a twin cab and it was massive and I would have probably been more than six foot away from him, but that didn't count, so they had to get, first of all, a van, then a recovery truck and a taxi, all to get me and the van back to Sheffield. The taxi driver legged it down the uh, M18 and M1 back to Sheffield, left me outside a garage that had closed two hours previous. I'm here at 7pm now. The van has now arrived, but I was outside with no coat, no nothing, waiting for my van and my dog to land back in Sheffield. What a palaver. Thanks for calling the RAC Breakdown and Accident Helpline. To continually improve our service, we may record your call. The mentality of the RAC, I've just told them that the vehicle cannot be fixed at the roadside. I've told them that it needs recovering and needs a recovery truck to take it from this postcode to the postcode of the garage. And guess what they said? We'll send somebody out to have a look at it first, and then if they decide that it needs towing, then they'll call the recovery truck. Just told you, it doesn't. it's not gonna be fixed at the side of the road. It needs a recovery truck. Why waste your time? Why waste my time? It's gonna be an hour and a half before the first person gets here, then probably another hour and a half for a recovery truck. And then it's gonna be another hour getting back. So by that time, it's gonna to be too late for the garage, isn't it? All right. So while we're waiting for the recovery wagon, I want you to do all me. A f do I want you to all do me a favour. Go over to Pebbles and Peaches channel, um, and in her latest video, there's a link to a Just Giving page, which is to help dementia. Um, after her dad uh, has been diagnosed with it and struggling with it uh, and suffering from it. So if you can just go nip over and and and, and give a couple of quid to that, or just go some show some support for Mel. I think she's had a difficult time of it at a minute, so do us a favour, spread some love over there. Sad face. Four 
how it legs up. It's like it's like wearing a gusset. <laughs> it's a beard bib. Mm. Oh. What's happening? You missing me the garage? What's up? Mm. I was up. Mm. Are you missing me the garage? Yeah, that taxi's taking me to the garage. Apparently, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, but we're not taking the passengers at the minute. Yeah, weird that because he's allowed to take the passenger, but you're not. I was half wondered about that, to be honest. Yeah, you can. Honestly, I cannot wait to get rid of my RAC membership. This is a joke. What's actually wrong with it? Huh? What's actually wrong with it? Uh, we're injecting silver for diesel armor. Oh, well. Felicia. The smell for the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, B roll. I'm putting my van into this man's hands and I, I'll be honest, I don't have much faith in him. He'll get you there. He couldn't even find this place, he's not going to be able to find Sheffield. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't look like he's done this before, does it? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just what it's we not... were saying. My glasses are stained. Do you think it's his first day? Um, Liam, you're putting in for damages. Is it supposed to be making that noise and not doing anything? You know when you don't know how to work something, you just press all the buttons. That's what this guy's doing. He's just pressing all the buttons. So like when you're playing Street Fighter and you just mash the buttons. Yeah, and he's basically playing Street Fighter yeah. with my van. Should have just drove it oh, back to Sheffield. Well, it might, it's looking like it might be that. What's it mean? What's it doing? Why? Huh? What's it? Why? Uh, about uh, 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 two and a half ton or something. Walking that way, right? Huh? What Normally it's like three and a half ton, this. Right. What are they on? Yep. 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 Definitely the weight of the van that's the problem. Definitely the weight of the van, not him. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had your van weighed? Yeah, it's well under three and a half ton. What was it? No, I've not had it weighed before, no, at all. Ah. It's well under three and a half ton, though. Oh, dear. What? It's everybody else's fault, but is. Thank <laughs> you. 
And on that note, I'm going to leave it at that. Love you all. Look after each other. Bye, Felicia.